everyone and welcome to another SQL query training session with Learn at NoStar. In today's video, we are going to write a SQL query to find out how many employees were hired by a company in the last N months. So let's get started. We are going to be working with a very simple table called the EMP table or the employee table. It has got three columns, first name, last name and hire date. Now I've provided all the details about creating this table and inserting the data as you see over here in this table. So the create statements and the insert statements are provided in the description box below. So you can go ahead and create your own table and then practice the queries that we're going to learn in this video. So going back to the data, we need to find out the employees who were hired in the last n months. Now n can be any number, so let's say it is 5 for us. So what we're going to use to frame that query is a date function and that date function is called the date difference. The date difference function basically gives us the difference in some specified interval which could be years, months and dates between two particular dates. So what we're going to use that function to achieve is to find out the difference between the current date that is today's date and the higher date and then calculate how many months are specified in that interval and based on that we can find out how many employees were hired in the last n months. So let's get started so that we can understand how that function exactly works. So I have run a simple select command on the dbo.emp table, very simple. Now what I'm going to add over here is the function that we just talked about. So what I'm going to say is date diff as soon as you start typing it you will get a prompt suggesting the function and as soon as you put the bracket over here now, since we have already defined the statement, so let's just take that out. All right. So as soon as you'll put the bracket over here, you'll get a prompt asking you to define some arguments in the fashion in which it is specified. So you have to specify them in this order. So the first argument that it is asking for is the interval. Now, interval is anything like you want the difference in dates between two dates in terms of years, how many years. Uh, are they uh, different by or do you want the difference to be in months? So what is the difference in months between those two dates or days and so on? So for us, the criteria is months. So we are going to specify as the interval month, the full word we can type and then the starting date. So starting date is going to be the date, the higher date, which is basically the, the past date. So we are going to write higher date, which is going to be a column from our table. And the end date for us is going to be the current date. So we are just going to put get date and close the brackets and put our table name. So here what we are trying to find out is the difference between the current date or the today's date and the higher date. So if today's date is a date in February and I would say that I want to find out all the employees uh, which were who were hired in the last two months then that means I'm going back to uh, January and December December of 2020 I want to find out all the employees who were hired in December 2020 and January 2021 so this is what that should give me now when I say date difference between today's date which is a date in February and a date which has a higher date in December all right I should get two as the difference so if we run this query Let's see what we are getting. So I'm just going to execute this query. And now you can see that all this data that we have, the first data is January, all right, and the date difference that we have got in months. So the difference in months from today's date uh, with respect to the higher date of January 2021 is one month. If we go back to December 2020, the difference becomes two months and so on. So if I want to go back two months, that means I want to go back till December 2020, I will get a difference of two months. So I can easily specify this difference. Now let's go back to our requirement. We are simply wanting to get all the employees. So let me just copy this out of here. What we are saying is that we want to find out all the employees whose hire date is in the last N months. Okay, so that means I just want to filter this select query by adding a where clause and then I want to find out the difference once again and I can just specify this number in the interval. So last n months, so let's say last three months. So if I put three over here, all right, and I just execute this query, 
I am getting just one employee who was hired in November 2020, that is three months back. But what is my requirement? And many of you might have already got this error that I have made over here. We said that we wanted to find out all the employees who were hired in the last N months, which means last three months, which means uh, in the last three months, in the last two months, in the last one month till date. All right. So what we need to do over here is we need to change this to less than equal to and execute this query and then we'll get all the records of all the employees who were hired in the last three months which means January 2021, December 2020 and November 2020. So this is a very simple query many of you might already be aware of this function there are other date functions as well like date add and so on which using which you can find out uh, date and future so I have already put some videos on these date functions. So I'll also put a link to those videos and I'll be putting more videos as well. If you have any other queries related to any date functions that you want to be covered in our sessions, then please let us know in the comments below. If you found the video useful, then please do like, comment and share this video. And please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Stay healthy and stay safe.